Okay, so something I have mentioned before but I don't really talk about a lot uh, is what I do for a living and I teach math at a uh, basically a two-year college. Um, another thing I don't really talk about very much is where I live. I've probably given details to people can figure out roughly where I live. I, I live in the south, I live in the deep south. But I am recording this um, late, uh, late September 30th. Okay. So what has happened recently is that we had a hurricane uh, come up from Florida, that bend of Florida. I think it's hurricane, I think. I know exactly what it is. It's hurricane Helene. The I think came from the fact that I think I'm going to be able to pronounce this correctly, which probably didn't. But so this hurricane went up through Georgia, through South Carolina, uh, through uh, all the way up through eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina up to Virginia. And I am in a unique position because uh, I am off for the next week because of the damage done by this hurricane. So. Not to be specific with where I live, but I live in a part of the uh, country that was impacted by this hurricane. But another interesting thing that has happened, I mean by the unique position, is that I only lost power for about 16 hours. I never lost water. And because I am a kind of a, a, a weird pack rat, I have a food... <laughs> Without much planning, I have food kind of packed away in water. So uh, even though I didn't specifically plan for the hurricane, I did indirectly plan for the hurricane. So I'm just staying at home for the next week. I've got plenty of food. I live in a uh, apartment complex, so I have a pretty nice gym facility here and I have all of that stuff. <clears throat> But what's going on around me uh, is I have the the uh, the cities around me. A lot of people, I think the majority of people, still at this point don't have electricity. A lot of people, I think they're going to be losing water soon. And the water that may be uh, that they may have, there's a boil, uh, there's a warning, or you know, a, a, I don't know if you say a warning to boil, but telling people to boil the water. Okay, so where am I going with this? Um, Hurricanes are like guns and how we react to them. So when there's a mass shooting, you'll have a group of people who'll say, maybe we need to have a discussion about regulating guns. And to some people, this is like automatically, uh, oh, here are these people trying to jump on this event and get rid of your guns. We're not even at that discussion. Right now, the CDC isn't even allowed to track down gun deaths because the NRA uh, passed, managed to get some law, uh, some policies policies passed. I don't know if they're laws, but policies where the CDC doesn't even track gun deaths. So forget about removing all the guns from people. We can't even have the discussion of regulating guns, regulating basic things like registries or anything like that. Because, I mean... I own firearms. Um, most of the people I know own firearms, but I also think that certain things should be regulated. Like not everybody can just, you, you have to prove that you're competent to drive a car. You should maybe be competent to prove, uh, show your competency in, in owning a firearm. But we're not allowed to talk about it. So when there's a mass shooting, we don't, we don't talk about it. It's like Bruno, we don't talk about it. Anyway. So what's going to happen now is we have this hurricane. And I notice a lot of people are saying, you, you can see in the news all these people who are not prepared for this. And the response, just see this, go to YouTube, look at videos of people dealing with the hurricane. You look at the comment section and they'll do news reports of people, you know, they have, they're insecure with where their water is going to be coming from, where their food is going to be coming from. And then you have people in the comment section saying, how did you not plan for this? Well, the way you didn't plan for this, the reason people didn't plan for this is because these hurricanes are hitting the Southern Appalachians, okay? These aren't parts of the country that get hit by hurricanes 
because they're nowhere near the coast. I know that people have a deficiency when it comes to geography, but if you look at where this hurricane, these storms hit, um, this is not normal. The, the, the whole thing of it being a once in a lifetime, the once in a lifetime is now, this is gonna probably be the new normal. But there's nothing normal about this. And I, I've, I've lived in the deep south and within the region in which the hurricane has hit. I've spent the great majority of my life living in that region. And this has never happened. We've had, we've had uh, hurricanes that have become tropical storms that became tornadoes, but never this destructive. At, at most, a tropical storm. So how do you prepare for something that you've never seen before? Because that's what it is is that now we've we've built our society within these parameters of of weather saying that the weather is going to be within these boundaries and now those boundaries are being totally out of whack in so much that even in certain states florida insurance companies don't even want to insure homes anymore against flooding and wind damage because it's too unpredictable there are basically parts of this country which may become all but uninhabitable mainland parts of the united states and the reason this is similar to the gun discussion is because if we bring up the conversation of climate change people are going to have a similar visceral reaction um, and people are going to vote and decide against their own best interests what i mean by that is they're going to vote for the politicians and the policymakers and the lawmakers that either deny the existence of global warming or de de deny the effects of it. And the people who are going to suffer the most are going to be the poor, the people who cannot afford to prep for it, the people who cannot afford to move, the people who cannot afford to skedaddle out of an area when a hurricane or any natural disaster is about to hit. And honestly, I think the reason that I've kind of, I'm in this odd position where I've had water and power for almost the entire time, while essentially everyone around me, including the stores and the shops, don't have it, is because, quite frankly, the neighborhood I live in is pretty well off. I literally live on a golf course. Like there's, well, not on a golf, well, no, I literally live on a golf course. So if I walk outside and I walk down the street, I'm, I'm a, walk down the sidewalk, I'm on a golf course. And let me be clear here. I'm not rich. I am middle, I am middle class. I am a government worker, um, but I'm a government worker who's very, uh, who's very careful with his money. And I'm a government worker who, who works several jobs. Um, and the one thing I splurge on is where I live. And because I think I splurge on that is I think that I happen to be living in a neighborhood where there's wealthy people and wealthy people complain and wealthy people have sway and they get their power and water turned on very quickly. Never lost water, but that power did not stay on very or did not stay off very long. So th when we have those people who are doing the I'll admit the ridiculous things uh, chaining themselves or cementing themselves on roads and just being a general nuisance. Yes, they are annoying, but this is why they're doing what they're doing. Because they're trying to prevent this, or at least they were trying to prevent this from doing uh, or from being the new normal, and now it is. And we won't talk about it. We'll say that any discussion to be had like this, they'll say, well, it's political. Why do you have to make this political? Well, all things are political. It's like when people say wars are political, of course it's political, but how else do you make the changes with this? Because essentially we're going to, we're doing things that can't be reversed and eventually we will find ourselves in a, a planet that will be harder and harder to inhabit. People have this thing trying to save the planet. This, the planet will be fine with, without us. It's just a question of what type of planets do you, uh, planet do you want to live in? I don't have kids. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any uh, descendants to worry about. So if you want to make, if these people want to make the earth a, a hellscape to live in, I'll be hopefully dead and gone by the time it gets there and I won't have kids to suffer from it.